Hey guys, this is Versatile from VST Power. In today's video tutorial, I'm going to show you how easy it is to mod your Nook tablet. In other words, we're going to teach you how to root it so then you could turn it to an Android device and you could sideload all your different apps and be a boss or a queen or a king of your Nook tablet. So how do you do this, right? So first things first, if you go to the more info section, there's a link to this website called uh, um, tabletroms.com and there's this guy, Albert Wirtz. He's a great person. He created this fantastic um, zip file of the firmware that you download to basically root your um, tablet, your Nook tablet. And if you want, you can watch his videos. I spent like two hours just trying to understand the whole process. And when all is said and done, it only takes like 10 minutes. So if you got 10 minutes to devote to this project, you're going to be a boss in no time. So how do you do this? First thing is if you go to this thread here, and download the latest file. So here's this file called download file SD root NT16 or 8 gigabytes version 4 underscore 7. So download that. And what's going to look like is this zip file right here. So I'm going to right click and I'm going to tell it to extract. I'll extract it to a folder. And what's going to happen is it's going to have an image file. Now I have a SD card, a micro SD card and a USB adapter connected to my PC right now. It's 16 gigabytes. You can use a 1 gigabyte, 2 gigabyte or 4 gigabyte, I recommend that you have a spare micro SD card, like at least 2 gigabytes just to be on the safe side. But I'm using a 16 gigabytes, and after you use it for your modding or rooting your Nook tablet, you can reformat it so you get your full space and you can store whatever you want on it. So anyways, here's the folder that I just extracted. And what we're going to do is we're going to mount slash write a special image file into your micro SD so that when you connect it to your Nook and to your PC, it's going to automatically boot it into this special uh, clock word mod is what we're going to do. So let's run as win32 disk imager dot executable. It says image file. So let's click on the folder icon here and go ahead and browse to where your file is. So here's the image file. Press save. And here's a device. Make sure you select the correct device. So for my particular case, my SD card is, and let me just double check it, is letter M. Sweet. So we go back to the program, say M, and say write. It's going to say writing to a physical device can't corrupt the device. Are you sure you want to continue? Click on yes. And it says an error occurred while attempting to lock the volume. Access is denied. That's not good. So what you could do is let me take it out, put it back in. And then I'm going to right click and run this program as administrator. You can't fail with that. So run as administrator. Now we go ahead and select the image file. And now we say, let's select my M drive and say write. Are you sure? Yes. And yeah, that's what I'm talking about. It's starting to write. So after it writes it, it's going to have this. Well, I'll show you what it looks like after you write it. <laughs> Okay, exit. Done. Exit. So that's the first part. So we go to the M drive and we see that there's a bunch of files on here. So there's some apps that the creator has put on here, which is fine. And then here's like these files here. So what we're going to do is I'm going to eject that USB thumb drive for actually my micro SD card. So let's go ahead and eject it. Um, here we go. Now I remove it. So what we're going to do is the second half of this video, we're going to show you from A to Z how to do this. It's going to be a lot of good times. Let's continue. All right. So here's the second part of the video. What I've done so far is I already installed the SD card. So I have a laptop right here. So for this initial process, we're going to jumpstart it by connecting the USB cable into the Nook. And what's going to happen is it's going to automatically um, auto start. And if you did your bootable micro SD card correctly you're going to see a cardboard box here and that means we are booting into the clock word mod the clock work mod excuse me yeah that's what I'm talking about the square if you don't have this cardboard box you did something wrong so go ahead reinstall the clock word mod the image file on your micro SD card and you'll be good to go okay sweet so hopefully you guys can read this let's see if I can zoom in a bit Okay, hopefully it focuses. But basically what you want to do if you, um, if you can read this is you press the up or down uh, plus or minus key, it will basically go through these options here. And I see you guys can't read this, so let me zoom out a bit here. Sorry for that. So what we're going to do is press the minus key until you go to install zip from SD card, press the N key. And then we say choose zip from SD card, press the N key. And now we press down, or you can press up I guess, and go to root 8 gigabytes or 16 gigabyte NTV47.zip, press the N key, and then 
press up again a few times until you go to yes, press the N key. It's going to go ahead and extract and it's going to install the clockwork mod. It's pretty awesome. So once you do this, this is effectively rooting your Nook tablet. Now you can add um, additional applications that the Barnes & Noble's App Store didn't have, for example. I'm sure you could install other applications, a keyboard hacker mod, or you can install a clock, um, over, over clock mod and stuff like that. So we see it's done, sweet. If you want to go backwards, press the power key. And then, and then it says reboot system now, so let's press the N key. Take out the USB cable, and you're good to go. So what's going to happen is it's going to boot, and well, I'll just show you what it looks like. Now, my Nook tablet was already rooted before I did this video. I didn't feel like unrooting it and turning it back to stock. But if you want to do that, you know, there is a unrooter APK file on there that you can run. And then you could also download the official uh, 143 Nook tablet firmware as well from Bars and Nobles and return to stock. But quite honestly, the beauty of this mod is that you can have the original ROM and then you can also have your new Clockwork mod as well. So you can still access all your base Nook stuff and then you can also use this AD, ADW launcher is what they call it to navigate to all your other special applications that you installed. And I'll show you in a second how that works once this thing has finally booted. But all in all, I'm very satisfied with the Nook tablet. It's a really great device. I like it because of the modding capabilities. If, the, if, if a device didn't have the ability to be modded, I wouldn't buy it. <laughs> Bottom line, that's just the way I am. But yeah, it was pretty cool. I got it as a gift. And the first thing I did was, oh man, let's mod it. And that's exactly what I did. And once you have all the files, it takes you like 10 minutes. Okay, so this is what it looks like on the beginning. If you press the home key, it's going to show you the Nook tablet the home space basically so you still have all your basic stuff on the bottom here if you press the N key see we have all this basic stuff here press the apps and here's all the apps like you would expect pretty cool but if you press this two times it comes up with this launcher so what I like to do is I like to say use by default for this action and then I click the AW ADW launcher and now it boosts into this other launcher here that has all your programs so if I press this key here Here's all my different programs I installed. It comes with some programs installed already, but I already upgraded into the Play Store, for example, so you can download more apps. I put uh, Android, um, the Angry Birds space on here, for example, and draw something else, some other stuff. So it's pretty cool. And then some of you guys who are curious about web performance, you know, Nook Tablet is pretty good at playing videos, and what I like to do is play uh, YouTube videos. So we go to one of my channels here, VST Power, and then let's go ahead and pick a video here. I'll just pick some random video. Oh, this is interesting. This is a brand new video, almost in time for Halloween here. So let's go ahead and uh, click on the video on play. And some of you guys may already know the performance, maybe some of you don't. So we see that HM7 has this fantastic video today. Here's my intro that I created in Adobe After Effects. We turn it like this. Hello guys, this is Jose here. And, um, and today I want to show you how to force the sync on the games that doesn't have an option to activate or disactivate. So there are games... Okay, that's... Um, hmm sort of interesting background wallpaper but anyways that's how you do the mod and once you have your bootable micro SD card and once you go through that clockwork mod recovery it only takes like 10 minutes and I'm being very generous maybe it's like five minutes you know but it doesn't take very long and you can go ahead and add shortcuts here and all that good stuff and there's a lot of material online to learn more about adding additional apps and stuff like that so if you go to the more info section I got a link where you can watch more follow-up videos if you're curious but this video should get you up and running. I am using firmware 143 for the Nook tablet and I got it up and running. It took me two hours to learn about the whole process, but once I did the thing, it's like 10 minutes. So I was a boss in no time. So hopefully by watching this video, you guys too can also be your own boss as well. So if you like this type of video, please like, favorite, and subscribe. So that hopefully one day we can get to the front page of YouTube. Otherwise, if you've got any nitpicky questions, leave a comment here on YouTube page and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Once again, thank you for watching. Take care. Bye.